QuickBooks Online, management reports, customization. Get ready to start moving on up with QuickBooks Online. We're going to be using the free QuickBooks Online test drive, searching in our online search engine for QuickBooks Online test drive, selecting the option that has Intuit.com and the URL Intuit being the owner of QuickBooks. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Pick in the United States version of the software and verifying that we're not a robot. Zooming in a bit by holding down control up on the scroll wheel, currently at 125% on the zoom in, noting in the cog dropdown that we're currently in the accountant view as opposed to the business view. We'll try to toggle back and forth between the two views so you can see where things are located in each of them. Right click in the tab up top to duplicate it as we do every time. We're gonna be putting our reports in the duplicated tabs right clicking again on the duplicated tab to duplicate it again as the tab to the left thinks we're going to go to the tab to the middle reports on the left and then open the balance sheet of the favorite reports as that's thinking tab to the right reports on the left this time the p to the l the profit to the loss the income statement we're going to close the hamburger otherwise known as the ham boogie change the range from 010122 tab 123122 tab run it to refresh it and then i'm going to go back to the tab to the middle and close the ham boogie scroll up to the top rangings they are changings 010122 tab 123122 tab run it to refresh it that's the setup process that we do every time in a prior presentation we talked about customizing and uh, memorizing the reports. And that could be quite useful for external reporting, say to clients at the end of the month. Now, the QuickBooks Online has another nice little tool that we could use as well. So if I go back to the tab to the left and we go to the reports on the left-hand side, we've been saving stuff into the customized reports, presumably so that at the end of the month, possibly quarter or year, we then print those reports out and provide them to the client in some way, shape, or form. But the online version also has this management report, which could be a good tool to try to make your reports look more professional uh, in a pretty easy, like little formatted type of way. So they've got the company overview, which is what we'll look at here. You've got the sales performance report and the expense performance report. Now, I would think that the company overview would be the most common kind of bundle type of report that you might provide on a month end, quarter end, year end basis. So if I was to view that, let's just take a look at what is included. You've got this nice little a lead in paid or cover page, as it's called here, management report, the title. So that looks nice. And then we're down into page two with a table of contents. So it's just including the major financial statement reports. We can change that. So we'll talk about that. And then it goes right in to uh, the reports, in this case, the profit and loss, and then the balance sheet report. So it gives you a nice little, little quick and easy type of format. You can, of course, get more complex with the formatting if you were to export the reports to like Excel and make, you know, Word documents and whatnot for the formatting of the reports, but this could give you a nice quick feel for it. So let's just think about our options then and see how we might be able to customize this in order to provide these reports to clients. So let's just pick a couple of our balance sheet reports. We'll talk more about the kind of reports that we're gonna be bundling together and what you might include, but we've discussed a couple balance sheet reports. Let's just open up like our summary report again and make like a comparative report, for example. So I'm gonna go, let's go back here. I'm gonna open up another tab. I'm gonna to go to the reports on the left and then I'm gonna to go to my standard reports and let's open up that, that summary report again. 
customize it as if we're gonna provide it to a client at the end of the period. So I'm gonna make this 123122 and then customize it. I'm gonna say no pennies on it, brackets, negative brackets, red. And then I'm gonna say for the header and footer, I'm just gonna change it here by saying summary up front. Let's say summary, summary balance sheet. And then I'm gonna remove the summary at the end, get rid of the date, time, report basis and run it. So then I'm gonna memorize this report or save it as we saw in the past, save it. And then I can use that saved report possibly to put into my my uh, management report here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna name it and put this as number one, uh, just so it'll be the first report that I kind of wanna add, which might help my grouping. I'm gonna add a group and I'm gonna say, these are my month, let's say month end reports, month end reports. I'm gonna add that group and then select the drop down and pick that group month end reports and save it. And there's our summary report. I'm gonna go back to the first tab and then I'm going, I'm in the management reports. I'm gonna to go to the customize here, refresh it by hitting the little refresh button and we should then get our new customized report. So there it is. Let's open up another one. So I'm gonna go back to the tab to the middle. I'm gonna to go to the reports on the left, this time standard report. Let's just open up a standard balance sheet and then I'm gonna make it into like a, a a comparative balance sheet. So I'm gonna hit the drop down. Let's make it by quarter. And then the end date is 12-31-22. Run it. There it is, I'll customize it. And then say, I don't want the pennies. Negative numbers bracketed, red. On the header and footer, I'm gonna call this a, a quarter balance sheet by quarter, something like that. Get rid of the date, time, report basis. And so that looks good. I'll save that. And then I'm going to go up top and say, I want to save the customization. And I'm going to put this, I'm going to label this just number two and save that into our uh, month end reports and save it. And then let's just do one more and say, let's say that I'll put this back to the total, run it. And then I'll do a vertical analysis and I'll say, uh, drop down here, percent of columns, run it, boom. And then I'm gonna say that I wanna, I wanna customize this. Well, let's just do it right here. I'll just change the, the name right here to balance sheet. I'll call it vertical analysis, vertical analysis. Now let's see. So hopefully this doesn't overwrite the other one that I did. It'll save it separately, I hope. But I'm going to say save customization. So it's trying to it's trying to put it into that one again. So I'm going to try to make it hopefully I'll make a different one. I should have opened up a new tab. But I'm going to say balance sheet vertical analysis. Save it in there. This will be report number three. And let's see if it if it works we're going to say save it and then let's go back to the first tab let's refresh it i'm in my customized reports if i refresh this then i go to my customized now i've got one two and three so now if i if i if i was to at the end of the month i'm going to go back and try to provide this information to somebody then I could print these out one at a time and email it to them or more, it would be better because I'm going to have a lot of reports. Once I start add income statement reports, I could then group them into a folder and provide somebody the information on a cloud drive possibly, or I could then group them into a folder, zip them and then email them to somebody as a zipped file, which is a little bit better than like 10 attachments, only three here. But if you had more reports, you can have a whole bunch of attachments, which can kind of be tedious to receive an email with 10 attachments that you have to download. Or you could, we could use Excel, exporting these to Excel and using Excel in, in alignment with, or as well as a PDF printer to print them on one PDF file. 
So we'll talk about how to do that later. That's a nice option that's pretty quick and easy to do. We could get more formalized by using Excel possibly and Word to create you know, more formalized management reports, but that gets more complex to, do, to deal with. Or we can use this management report thing that gives us a nice little, a little bit more formalization. So let's take a look at this one now. We'll take a look at trying to make all the reports on one PDF file using Excel later and the other ways that we might distribute the reports at the end of the month. Our goal is to make it look as nice as possible, noting that just having it look good is, is going to be a big part of the bookkeeping process because you want to have your clients have confidence that you're giving them you know, the right information and she'll be there when they need you, which is typically at the end of the year when they're doing taxes and possibly financial statement preparation. So if I, if I go into here and we, we viewed it, if I edit this now, I'm going to, now oftentimes you might want to keep the overview just as it is. And then maybe I'll make a copy of it. I'm just going to make a copy of it. So now I can change this one and keep the original. And then I'm going to go into this one and I'm going to say, I want to uh, edit it. So let's go into the edit. And then in the first page, this is the cover page. So we've got the cover page here. You've got a couple different styles that you can go to on uh, the cover page. So here's your styles. Then you've got your logo. So if you want to add your logo, that can give it a little bit more of a customization feel for that. And then you've got the title, uh, the cover title, which by default is management report. So you might call it, you know, your bookkeeping report or accounting report, right? Or, you know, bookkeeping, you know, reports, or you might just call it reports or just say month end reports, for example, possibly or something. And then subtitle, if you have a subtitle here, you can add another subtitle. You've got the uh, report period for the period ended, and then it's got the dates, which will be described in the, when you put the date so it's going to default to the current date prepared by if you want to put someone here for who made the report right and then we can have uh, the disclaimer for management use only at the bottom let's go to the second tab so that's the ta that's the uh, table of contents which which is going to include say uh, the reports that we're going to be having so include the table of contents you could exclude the table of contents altogether and then the page title is the table of contents. If you want to name it something else, you can. Then the third page gives you like an intro page. So if you wanted to add something, uh, the title page, you know, this is reports again. And then maybe you have a, an intro, you know, you know, discussing like, hi, you know, client or whatever. Here's your month in reports for the period ended and so on, blah, blah that you could add another page in here. Otherwise, it's gonna go directly into your reports. By default, if I go to the reports, they have the profit and loss and the balance sheet. Now, here's where you can add in, instead of having the standard balance sheet, maybe you, you remove that one and add the ones that we included in the reports dropdown. We've got the month one, that one, and then I'm gonna hit the add another one, and I'm gonna be put in this one in and then i'm going to add another one and i'm going to be putting this one in and so maybe you want those maybe you want the balance sheet reports first so maybe you pull the profit and loss down here we'll talk about formatting the profit and loss later so that's how you can kind of maneuver these reports this is obviously the meat the major point of your bundle but and the other and the rest of it is to kind of just make it look nice have your title page and so on and we can add then these customized reports in here instead of the default reports and make it give it a little more of a customized field. So this is a, one option we could use. And then an end note. So then you can say, you know, something at the end. So the end, I'll just say, thank you, you for the, your business or whatever. You can have an ending note here, which might be some kind of closing. You know, we appreciate this and that or possibly something like that on the end. So then I'm going to save it down here. We've got our options down here to cancel it. We can print or preview it. We have our advanced options. In the advanced options, uh, you've got your company name, so you can change that. You've got your header here that you can have an adjustment on the header or put a footer here if you so choose. Show only non-zero rows uh, and columns. So that remember when we actually do the reports, 
like it'll show a zero depend sometimes if there's activity in it that's the default setting so this will actually kind of override that i believe removing line items that don't have a zero which is typically what you want for external reporting so that's kind of nice so i'm gonna i'm gonna say okay on that let's preview it print or preview and so there we have it so now we've got the first page with our month end report and so on and prepared by blah blah table of contents now includes uh the the reports that's our intro kind of thing and then our actual reports so now you've got the month end uh reports which so notice like here it's kind of annoying that it's putting in like the group i would like it to just put the name of the report not what i called it number one summary uh balance sheet number two right i would like it to just say the name of the actual report as printed which would be the balance sheet here so that's a little bit annoying to do that so we could of course uh remove the group that it's in but that'll make it a little bit di more difficult to to add to the reports here so we can kind of play with that that's some of the problems you end up dealing with those kind of problems when you have this really kind of a fairly simplified template so but in any case it looks pretty nice and then we've got the intro or, or the reports this is that, that intro form where you could say you could put your little blurb in terms of this is the month in reports that we've been preparing blah 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 and here and then you've got your actual reports and once again it's pulling in the month end reports which is my group name uh, which I wasn't intending to put on the reports. That was just a grouping format as well as the number one. So that's so you might be aware of that and realize that this is going to be in the header and therefore you might name it in such a format that it's going to be a professional name and serve the purpose of grouping your customized reports possibly. But and then you've got your your uh, balance sheet or your summary balance sheet. And then we've got the balance sheet by quarter. So notice how this how I would basically break it out, have an easy looking form up top and then get into more complex information underneath. And then we've got our, our month end balance sheet vertical analysis report and then our uh, profit and loss. And then we've got the end note, which could be in conclusion. You know, thank you. This is our month end report in conclusion. We're, you know, we're going to be here for you at the, at the end of the next month and at the year end and so on and blah, blah. Thank you for your business or whatever. And that's the end report. So it's a nice, quick, uh, easy little summary. Again, you can kind of play with it to try to, to try to, to try to customize it exactly what you would want for like the names of the reports, for example. And you can do that, by the way, yeah, I can go down to the reports here. And I can go into the actual reports with the pencil and I can go in here and just say, I'm going to delete the number three like this. And then I can go into the pencil here and say, I'm going to delete this whole thing right there, the title. And so that's nice. So you can, you can do that, uh, compare previous year. So you could add the comparisons in here, but usually I would do that into the report, not within here, but in the actual report. But let's hit the pencil up top here and then I can remove this bit. Boom. And so there's that. And so now let's just save it and check it out again. Check it out. And so now we've got our actual reports that are showing up without that title. That looks way better. Okay. So, so it's a nice little, it's a nice little touch now. So in terms of how you're going to provide these reports to somebody, then the question is going to be, I'm going to still format the reports and probably save them in such a way that I can group them easily. And then the question is, how am I going to group them? Am I going to email them one at a time? Probably not the best way to do it. I can zip them at least and email them probably better in which case you might want to number them. So they're in the zipped folder in order you could then you could try to use excel to put them on one page and the excel actually allows you to do more formatting so if there's further formatting that you would like to do beyond what you can do in quickbooks then you could export to excel and do that you could have a combination between excel and word to make say a management report that's more perf you know that that in that format you can combine those two things together and do your own that gives you a whole lot more flexibility obviously and the formatting 
but it's going to add more complexity because now instead of just using the reports directly out of quickbooks you, you might have more more formatting that you would have to do outside of it and link together you know excel and and uh, word for your reports or you can put the you can put the management report words in excel too and, and try to do everything in one excel tab again no matter what you do it gets a little bit a little bit messy or you can use their little template here which works pretty well uh, for a nice formal you know a uh, report given a little bit added feel a little bit added touch uh of of professionalism and you can get everything on one page on one pdf that way so that you can provide it to them with a nice one PDF instead of multiple files. So we'll talk about the other ways we can do it using Excel, for example, to get everything on one PDF in a future presentation, but that's a neat little tool that you might want to experiment with.